mamas. If you're here with me today, you're either contemplating cruising pregnant or you already booked that cruise and want all the tips you can get. I'm Amanda with Barretto's on the Loose and in this video, I'm giving you all my tips for cruising pregnant. I'll be covering a range of topics from the basics to Zika virus, sunscreen, water, and so much more. Now, quick disclosure, I'm not a doctor, so everything I'm sharing with you is based on my research and speaking with my own doctor. First off, Congratulations on your pregnancy. We are currently on a Caribbean cruise baby moon and I am sailing 22 weeks pregnant. This leads me to my first piece of information. You must sail prior to your 24th week. This rule is in place because ships lack the facilities, prenatal treatment and early infant care that would be needed past the 24th week. There is a physician's certificate available on Carnival's website and linked below that you and your doctor can complete that basically certifies that you are before your 24th week. I emailed my completed form over to the special needs department and they confirmed receipt saying that they would contact me if they needed any additional information. I also kept a physical copy with me so when we boarded on embarkation day, if I was questioned, I would have it. I was not questioned, but I did notice that when I checked us in for our cruise within those 14 days prior to your sale date, it showed that I was pregnant. So there was some communication in there. <laughs> I've heard many women say they were not required to show documentation of their pregnancy, but personally, this is just an extra step that I recommend for peace of mind. Now on to water. Make sure you stay hydrated on your cruise. There are water stations available on Lido Deck, and we also recommend pre-ordering water bottles from the fun shops to be delivered to your stateroom. Water is how important nutrients and vitamins get transported to your baby. So it is critical to make sure your body is getting enough water. Do not let yourself get dehydrated as this restricts blood flow to the uterus, which can pose a risk to your baby's development and even cause premature contractions. Make sure you drink water before going out in the sun and throughout the day. And for port days, pack a bunch of water bottles, or I also recommend this collapsible water bottle, which breaks down super small for travel. It pops up to fit 20 ounces of water. Let's talk about the sun. If you're heading on a cruise to the Caribbean, Bahamas, or Mexican Riviera, be cautious with the amount of time you are in the sun. It is best to avoid sunbathing from the hours of 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Us expecting mamas are more likely to overheat and tend to have more sensitive skin, making us more susceptible to burning, hives, and heat rash. Prolonged time spent in the sun can also lead to dehydration, so going back to the last topic, drink your water. The FDA recommends pregnant women use a broad-spectrum mineral-based sunscreen which blocks UVA and UVB rays from getting to your skin. The two ingredients that are generally safe are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide because they are natural minerals that help block the harmful rays from getting to your skin. Now, you'll want to avoid the ingredient oxybenzone, which is also bad for coral reefs. Let's talk about hot tubs. Be aware that because you're pregnant, your body is going through heavy hormonal changes. So by getting into a hot tub, you're exposing yourself to higher than usual temperatures, which could lead to severe side effects such as overheating, fainting, dizziness, and dehydration. You obviously aren't able to control the temperature of a hot tub on a ship, so some steps you can take to help reduce risk are limit your time in a hot tub to 10 minutes or less, monitor your body temperature, don't soak your entire body, keep your upper torso, arms, and head out of the water, and pay attention to warning signs such as becoming uncomfortable or if you stop sweating. So I'm sure you've heard about the Zika virus, which is spread primarily through mosquitoes. Symptoms can develop three to 12 days after being bitten and may include fever, headache, skin rash, joint pain, and conjunctivitis. Now for pregnant women who are infected, Zika can be passed to your unborn baby, which can cause severe birth defects. Your partner can also pass it to you, but I won't go into that. The CDC recommends women who are pregnant or trying to become pregnant to avoid traveling to areas with Zika outbreaks. I recommend checking the Zika map on the CDC's website to make sure that the ports you'll be traveling to are not red, which signifies an outbreak. You should also use an EPA-registered insect repellent with ingredients such as DEET or Picardin or any of the ingredients listed here. These repellents are proven safe and effective for pregnant and breastfeeding women. Quick tip, apply sunscreen first, followed by the insect repellent. Now, if you're really nauseous during your first trimester or even up to this point, I would probably avoid cruising. If you're prone to seasickness or motion sickness, consult with your OB on which medicines they recommend. My doctor recommended Benadryl or Dramamine. At some ports, the ship anchors at sea, so you'll have to board a smaller water taxi that will take you to port. Smaller boats may cause seasickness, so just be aware and take any necessary meds ahead of time. You can check Carnival's website to see if any of your ports will have a water shuttle, and the link is in the video description below. 
some quick tips to help or prevent nausea in general. Do not let yourself get hungry. Drink ice water or carbonated beverages. With Carnival, we're allowed to bring a 12 pack of 12 ounce or less non-alcoholic beverages of cans or cartons, so consider bringing some ginger ale if you're concerned. Eat green apples. The pectin in green apples helps neutralize acid in the stomach, while the natural sugar helps settle the stomach. Eat salted crackers. Since they're high in starch, they can help absorb gastric acid and settle the stomach. There is a wide variety of food available to you on a cruise ship. Now being pregnant, you'll want to avoid eating cold cuts, deli meats, raw fish, undercooked meats, and of course, alcohol. If you love cocktails like me, consider visiting the Alchemy Bar to try their delicious mocktails. So Carnival has the Cheers drink package, which requires everyone in a stateroom, 21 and up, to purchase it. Now, if you're pregnant, you're probably thinking, well, is there a way around my roommate or partner being able to purchase this package without me having to purchase it? Well, technically, no, because Cheers also covers sodas, juices, specialty coffees, water bottles. But one suggestion is to go visit guest services, let them know you're pregnant, show proof if you have to, and they may or may not allow just your partner to purchase it. I've heard of cases where they have, so it might be worth a shot. We know it can be hard to get comfortable when lying down, and you're obviously not gonna bring your large maternity pillow from home, so consider asking your stateroom steward to bring you extra pillows and even a mattress stopper to help you get as comfortable as possible. So you're on a cruise and you see some awesome excursions being offered. My recommendation here is to avoid doing anything risky, such as zip lining, ATV riding, climbing rocks to get to waterfalls, or riding in speedboats that whip you around in 360 degrees. Maybe actually use this time to relax. Now on to packing. In addition to the normal things you'd pack for a cruise or vacation, you'll also want to bring your prenatal vitamins. I use New Chapter Perfect Prenatal Multivitamins. Belly cream. I use Burt's Bees Mama's Butter. Sea sickness medicine. I have Dramamine handy. Broad spectrum mineral based sunscreen. I use Blue Lizard mineral sunscreen. EPA registered insect repellent. I used Off because it has DEET. Collapsible water bottle to help you stay hydrated. This special made one is really convenient. Compression socks for our poor swollen feet and legs. We do a lot of walking on a cruise, so these are nice to have to be able to put on when you go to sleep. I use Kindred Bravely Premium Maternity Compression Socks. Use my code AMANDAB15 for 15% off your entire order. Compression gloves if you're prone to carpal tunnel. A portable neck fan for hot days. My husband jokes and says I look like I'm wearing earphones. Damn, this thing really works. I need to get one for work. <laughs> he said, why'd you only buy one? I said, well, shoot, because I'm pregnant. <laughs> and of course, other sun protection, such as sunglasses and a hat. Well, that wraps up my guide to cruising pregnant. I hope you learned a ton and are excited for your upcoming cruise. I'm currently on day seven of our cruise. I haven't gotten sick, I haven't gotten sunburned, and I haven't gotten mosquito bites. So I'm having an absolute blast. Now, if you're planning on cruising once your little one is here, make sure you check out our Facebook group, Cruising Carnival with Infants and Toddlers. And you can also check out our in-depth video for cruising with infants and toddlers linked above. There are also a couple links in the video description below for you to check out. One is a packing list for the expecting mamas, and the other is a list of our favorite Amazon gadgets, so check them out. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know how many weeks you'll be when you cruise. Thank you for watching, and best wishes for a happy and healthy pregnancy. <laughs>